Let's put this recipe in context due to its simplicity. Today I am making Iron Rations from Hero's Feast, the official Dungeons & Dragons cookbook. If you've made this recipe, share your thoughts in the comments below. With such a simple recipe to prepare, I thought it would be beneficial to see what situation you would need Iron Rations for. In this case, hiking up the Wasatch Mountains in the snow. First, I collected the ingredients. One and one fourth pounds Gruyere would have been insanely expensive. Not to mention the size of these rations would be astronomical for four people. So instead, I decided to make a single portion, 10 ounces of beef jerky from a local supplier. This is the best beef jerky we have ever had, by the way. 12 dried apricots, one cup roasted and lightly salted almonds, four handfuls of wheat thins, and four bunches of grapes. Again, I decided to only make a fourth of the total recipe due to the sheer volume involved. And rather than preparing it as a charcuterie board, which is one presentation option, I chose the bagged trail mix style. This will alter the type of cheese, fruit, and meat you decide on. I began by cutting up approximately a third of a cup worth of cheese into bite-sized chunks. Next, I took approximately a fourth of the jerky and cut it up into bite-sized chunks, setting each aside. Then, I set aside some of the dried apricots with the fourth of a cup of roasted almonds. Then, I added one handful of wheat thins. And finally, one bunch of seedless grapes. Lastly, I separated the grapes from the vine, adding them into the container, and added the rest of the ingredients. Again, this is just one-fourth of the total recipe, and it's really enough for two or three people depending on the excursion you're taking. After mixing it all together, I packed it in my backpack and took my dog with her own snacks and water to the trailhead. It was a beautiful morning with the snow just lightly falling. The view was obscured, but I didn't mind at all. And always remember, as important it is for you to have food and water when you're hitting the mountains, never forget about your animal companions. They get just as hungry and thirsty, if not more so than you do. This was a surprisingly delicious combination that I did not expect would work together at all, but I am happy to be proven wrong. I would highly recommend this to other hikers and backpackers, and I will be trying the charcuterie board option next. Thank you all for tuning in to this Dragonlance recipe episode. This has been Adam with Dragonlance Saga, and until next time, 
Slonjava. <laughs>